ברוכים הבאים של המחזור השביעי של הקורס הבינלאומי ללימודי מודע ומוסמך באורתודונטיה 2008-2012. Friends, colleagues, special guests, students, both current and past, welcome to the graduation ceremony of the seventh class of the International Postgraduate Program for the Advanced Degree of Orthodontics 2008 to 2012. A special welcome to the families of the graduating students who have come from near and far. We really appreciate the effort you have uh, put into coming here. Welcome to the current students of PG8 who must have a touch of envy in looking at the graduating class. Don't worry, I promise you that your day will come soon and much sooner at my age than I would like. <laughs> A warm welcome to our past students. Seeing your familiar faces fills me with a feeling that we are a close family once again reunited. As Myron said yesterday, judging from the amount of past students, we at Tel Aviv must be doing something right. And welcome to the distinguished dignitaries from the various embassies who will be asked to present the graduating certificates. The ambassador to Greece, Mr. Kyriakos Lukakis, and the administrative attaché to Cyprus, Mr. Yanis Prokopiou. And welcome to the various representatives of the university. Professor Neil Gandel, who is the head of Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv University International Program, School for Overseas Students, and then Professor Yosef Makori, Dean, Faculty of Medicine, and Professor Ilana Eli, head of the School of Dental Medicine, and Professor Alexander Vardimon, chairman of the Department of Orthodontics, and Professor Myron Lieberman, former chairman of the Department of Orthodontics, and Dr. Neil Spack, Department Coordinator, and Chaim Tal, the Administrator, Administrative Director of the Dental School. Welcome to you all, one and all. And now I have a personal comment to make to the graduating students. I compare all nine of you to the stars of the constellation of Orion. Shining brightly, you are easily visible high in the sky. Orion has a center of rotation, and you should all understand what that means. And it is at its belt region, which is made up of three stars always pointing to the north. In English, pointing to the north is a metaphor for progress, advancement, and achievement that exactly represents your accomplishments. And like the constellation, you are also joined by virtual lines which have connected you to one another and provided you with mutual support and help. Hopefully, those lines will remain with you forever. <laughs> Gladly, in all the time that I have known you, I have also not found one single black hole amongst you. So, mazel tov to you all. And I now call on Professor Yosef Makori, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, to extend his greetings on behalf of the medical school. Good morning, welcome. My dear colleagues, members of the Presidium, guests from the different embassies, guests and families, and most importantly, uh, dear graduates of the seventh class of the International Postgraduate Program for Advanced Degree in Orthodontics. On behalf of the Faculty of Medicine that you know consists of six schools, which is the last, largest one in Israel, dental school is only one of them, I would like to welcome all of you. And uh, of course, it's a special privilege for me to welcome you, not only as our graduates, but to wish you much success as leaders in orthodontics from uh, now on. I would like you just to take two short messages from here. The first one 
what's right for medicine or for dental medicine. And unlike being on a highway, you have to be on the middle route. Remember not to be the first one to uh, adopt the new, but not the last one to abandon the old. Try to adopt yourself a habit of self-learning and continuous learning in order to adopt the most advanced techniques and approaches that you can uh, provide later on to your patients. In addition to that, being such kind of a quote-unquote professional message, I hope for our guests, our students from abroad, that you are going back home not only with a superb uh, knowledge and qualification that you adopted and reached and achieved, uh, being taught here by leaders in orthodontics in Israel, but we hope that you are taking also some message from the Israeli society. Be our ambassadors. You have been acquainted with our society, with our culture, I believe with our history, with our geography, without, of course, uh, not forget our politics, which there is never a dull moment here, as you know. But we hope that you are going to serve as good ambassadors, ambassadors of goodwill uh, I, uh, of Israel in uh, your countries and homeland whenever you are going to go. So on behalf of the faculty, I would like, first of, first of all, to uh, thank, deeply to thank our faculty who uh, contributed so much in order to uh, make your uh, education a successful one. And of course, to every uh, one of you, good luck, as we just heard Mazal Tov in Hebrew, just good luck and a lot of success in your career. And to our Israeli graduates, just let me say it in English, that I hope that they are not going to be all, uh, all successful only uh, as having uh, private practices and, uh, and, of course, practicing orthodontics, but I hope to see you here as faculty members in this school. Thank you very much. And last but not least, I have to apologize. I have to give a lecture at the Shippa Medical Center, which is a, a medical center also affiliated to our medical school. So I have to leave. But once again, uh, my best uh, uh, congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, will you please welcome Professor... Neil Gundell, head of the international program. <clears throat> okay, so good morning to everyone, and uh, I'd like to welcome all the distinguished guests and visitors here, and greetings to my colleagues at the university, and of course, most importantly, to all of you who are graduating, and I know this is a special day for everyone and for the families, and uh, I know this program is really tough because I actually, uh, I know Zev personally. He actually, he saved our family's, <laughs> my uh, middle son's mouth, so I know that he's a perfectionist. So if you went through his program, you've done a, a great job. Um, I'm going to just talk for one or two minutes about uh, Tower International, which is the Tel Aviv University International School. You guys were, or the, the, this program has existed longer in some sense than the unit has existed. Indeed, the School of Medicine has been on the frontiers of the international program. As you know, we have a, a large program in medicine with um, the Sackler School. We have your program. And now the university has, uh, has other programs too. We indeed now have 12 MA programs with about 300 master students each year, and these programs exist throughout the campus. We are starting a full bachelor's degree uh, in English next fall, and also a full bachelor's degree in English in, uh, in electrical engineering. The first one will be a general degree in the humanities. And in addition, we have about 400 students who come and spend a semester here. So you guys have finished your degree, but perhaps you know, other members of your family will come and study here. And, uh, and we're, Tel Aviv University is moving towards becoming a global university. This school and this program is an important part of it, and I'm honored to be here today uh, and to celebrate the graduation with you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words, Professor Gundel. I now call upon the head of our own dental school, 
Professor Ilana Eli. Good morning to everybody. Welcome to our graduates, to their families, distinguished guests, faculty members, graduates. You know, being a head of a school has, a ver has quite a lot of hard moments, but it has some joyful moments as well. This is one of the more joyful moments in the career of any de dean or head of school. Seeing graduates, our, some of them graduated DMD degree in our school, some of them came from other parts of the world, being here graduating a program and being able to recognize their achievements is really a very joyful moment. So I want to, gra to congratulate every one of you on finishing a very long process of professional training, or rather I should say professional socialization. I do not like so much the term training, because the term tra training is like training for a trade. And there is a very big difference between a trade and a profession. When you study for a trade, you have to acquire the skills which are necessary for this trade. The manual skills, if you want to do carpentry, if you want to do some manual work, you have to acquire the skills. But a professional is a different thing. A professional, a professional like dentistry, a professional like medicine, is something which above acquiring the skills that you have to acquire, also has to teach you to acquire the norms, the ethics of the profession. This is why, why we refer to the studying process of medicine, of dentistry, as to professional socialization. Namely, that within the process you, you acquire the skills, but we also expect you to become part of the culture of the profession a culture which has very strict rules as far as, 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 as norms are concerned, as far as uh, ethics is concerned. And I am sure that every one of you has learned as has acquired these norms. So what I, have to, what I want to wish you today, becoming the top of the postgraduate studies and the top of the profession in orthodontics, be real professionals not only real manual uh, uh, orthodontics, but be real professionals. Professionals which refer in the right ethics to their colleagues. Professionals which create the, the right relationship with their patients. Professionals that really refer to the very uh, uh, core of the profession of the dental and medical profession, primum non nocere. First, do not do any harm before fixing some problem. Think about not creating another problem. I wish you to be real professionals, and I know that each and one of you is and will continue to be one. Congratulations. Welcome to the Club of Specialists of Orthodontics. Thank you so much. Please welcome Professor Alexander Vardimon, Chairman of the Orthodontic Department. My dear students, <clears throat> respectful guests, around the time of King Herod, 30 BC, there were two great Jewish scholars, Shammai and Hillel. The first was picky and strict, and the second modest and tolerant. The legend says that once a foreigner came to Shammai and told him, convert me to Judaism on the condition that you teach me the entire Torah, which is the Jewish philosophy, while I stand on one foot. Shammai pushed him aside with a stick that he held in his hand. The same fellow then came before Hillel, and Hillel converted him, saying, That which is helpful to you, that, I'm sorry, that which is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow. This is the entire Torah, and the rest is commentary, so go and study it. 
I personally prize this phrase, which was also formulated by Rabbi Akiva and later by Jesus, who said, love your friend or neighbor as yourself. Nevertheless, the reason I'm telling you this story is that I have been debating with myself how to summarize in one phrase the whole knowledge of orthodontics that we taught you during the last three and a half years. It is not an easy mission, especially as human nature likes to expand on wording rather than speaking straight to the point. I think that the best method to take home is think inside and outside the box simultaneously. Every patient that you will treat in your long-lasting career will be provided with this treatment plan, with a treatment plan that is divided into two parts. The first is the routine one, and the second, the unique individual part. For the first part, use your inside box of knowledge. For the second part, utilize the out-of-the-box thinking. To emphasize the out-of-the-box thinking, let me ask you a rider. Please concentrate. Suppose you are holding a long string in your hand at the length of 40,000 kilometer. With this string, you can surround the equator of the Earth, which is also 40,000 kilometer. Now someone is adding one meter to the string, meaning that the length of the string is now 40,000 kilometer and one meter, or 40 million and one meters. Seeing the string is now longer than the Earth circumferences, it will now be a bit, re a bit removed from the globe. Suppose that this amount of, is equally divided along the entire globe, how much will the string be removed from the Earth's surface? Taking into account that we are dealing with an ideal ball with no projection or holes. I give you five choices, one meter, 60 centimeter, eight millimeter, two microns, or four or two nanos. Now before giving me, you giving me the answer, please take into account that you have to divide this one spare meter along three oceans and three continents along the whole globe. Under this condition, will the string be removed again? One meter, six centimeter, eight millimeter, two microns, or two nanos. Before telling you the correct answer, I'd like to introduce you a great scientist from Greece in the name of Archimedes of Syracuse, who lived 287 to 212 BC. Archimedes calculated the value of pi and defined that the circumference of a circle is two pi r meaning two times the factor pi that equals 3.14 times the radius. Thus, the elongated streak is approximately 16 centimeters away from the Earth's surface all around the equator. Why did I tell you the, this rider? Simply to demonstrate the principle of thinking inside and outside the box. Inside the world thinking is dividing the extra one meter by 40 million meters, which brings an extension in the nano's portions. Outside the box thinking is to throw away intuitive feelings and to concentrate on rational and, lo and orthodontic logical perceptions. Last remark, in the year 1899, Charles H. Duell, director of the US Patent, Patent Office said, Everything that can be invented has been invented. Well, in 1899, about 600 patents were issued by the US Patent Office. The number of issued patents today is 7.5 million. Clearly, he was in the box. In conclusion, my dear students, take the box of knowledge that has been filled during the last three and a half years and use it inside content routinely, but also it outside, which contains the unconventional vision. Thank you, and may the word of wisdom be always with you.
Mr. Ferreira da Silva, would you please come down? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Professor Vardimon. I now call upon Professor Myron Lieberman, who originally started the department in 1971 and was the spiritual and physical originator of our international program. Please, Myron. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, uh, graduates, uh, parents of graduates, future graduates, past graduates, guests. Um, it has been my, uh, uh, my tradition over the past 40 years uh, to quote something. Uh, that's included the Bible, Shakespeare, Sir William Blake, Henry David Thoreau, Theodore Roosevelt, and a fortune cookie. <laughs> Uh, today, I have chosen uh, a quote I came across in, in the newspaper a few months ago from someone uh, that probably only an American would know. He was a, a longshoreman philosopher uh, by, the name, uh, by the name of Eric Hoffa. No relationship to Jimmy Hoffa, who is now sitting at the bottom of the Hudson River uh, encased in cement. <laughs> but Eric Hoffa was, uh, um, loved Israel couldn't understand why we have a refugee problem, which every other country in the world after a war uh, has managed to solve. And so he was a, a, a very popular and invited speaker to UJA meetings. And this is a quote from him. And, and by the way, this is a commencement exercise, which is a funny word because uh, we think of it as a finish, uh, finishing, and yet commencement in English means to begin. And, and uh, so this is rather fitting, and that is, I think the title of the, of the article was called Back to School. American social philosopher Eric Hoffa said, the central task of education is to implant a will and facility for learning. It should produce not learned, but learning people. Uh, what that means is that this isn't the end of your education. In, in many ways, uh, uh, it's, it's still the end of the beginning. Uh, quote Mr. Churchill. Uh, I would offer you uh, um, my personal uh, definition of success, because people have wished you success. And you know, if you, if, if you, if you the, the average person really doesn't, orthodontist doesn't have a problem becoming successful. Um, but for me, success is what you do with your life after you become successful. Thank you. Uh, finally, please welcome the PG7 class representative, Dr. Fortini Tsingane, to respond to all these kind wishes on behalf of her class. Good morning. First, I would like to welcome all the parents, relatives, friends, faculty, and staff on behalf of the senior class. It's my privilege to speak to you today at the graduation, graduation ceremony of the seventh class of the International Postgraduate Program in Orthodontics of Tel Aviv University. Three and a half years ago, we were nine strangers coming from dental school to enter the new world of orthodontics as juniors. Now, after having spent almost every day of these three years together, after all these hundreds of seminar hours, clinic time, and lab exercises, we are not just classmates, but good friends, almost family. We are all proud of each other. We worked as a team, and we overcame all the obstacles together. We learned from each other, and our friendship guided us to our common success as a group. 
On behalf of my classmates, I would like to thank our instructors for their patience, their creativity, the skills, and the opportunities they offered us. They served us our mentors and friends. They did not teach us only out of textbooks, but also out of experience. As we go on to our private practices, I think that we'll always look for answers beyond what is written in the books. And that is the legacy of our faculty members. We all wish to make them proud of with our career and to continue their love or orthodontics with the same passion. I would also like to say a big thank you to our families. Without their support, none of us would make it through these years. None of us would be able to pursue our dream. To my fellow graduates, here we are, three and a half years later, and we have to face the same feeling, the bittersweet combination of nostalgia and excitement that comes when you turn off one road in your life and go on to another. Now it's the time for our hard work to pay off. Now it's the time to make our dreams come true. It's important to remember that while three and a half years is a long time, education lasts a lifetime. And in the future, I hope that we can look back to these years and be grateful for all the knowledge we got and the programs that we made. And also remember that there is always something new to learn. Please take heed in the following wisdom from Nobel Prize winner Pearl Buck. We hope uh, we have every reason to look forward into the future with hope and excitement. Fear nothing and no one. Work honestly, be good, be happy. Thank you and congratulations to all my fellow graduates. Before we present the graduating diplomas, we have two awards for outstanding academic achievement. Professors Eli and Vardimon, would you please step forward to make the presentation? The first award goes to Dr. Rachel Sarig. Good morning. I'm standing here today excited by this distinguished event that represents the accomplishment of a great long mission, the combined PhD and postgraduate orthodontic program. It has been a long period of time, more than six years, which today can finally be officially declared as over. Today is the first day of the Jewish month Adar. This is the happiest month in the Jewish calendar. It is said that when Adar comes, joy increases, and this year it will be real joy. Joy of satisfaction, joy of success, joy of starting a new path. We as graduates are in the center of this joy, but we are not alone, and I would like to thank those who shared with us this long journey. My sincere appreciation goes to the orthodontic staff, who has shared with us the knowledge and love of the profession, and taught us that behind every malocclusion there is a person. I would also like to thank the secretaries of the department who run the clinic and are always there to listen and support. Great thanks to my PhD supervisors, Professor Vardimon and Professor Hershkovitz. <laughs> for their trust and encouragement, 
By sharing with me their experience and knowledge, I have been led to accomplishing this thesis. It is said that behind every successful man there is a woman. Well, it is the opposite in my case. I would like to thank Gilad, my husband, who has walked, who has walked with me this long way with a lot of support and patience. This award, award belongs to you as much as it belongs to me. Thank you. <laughs> Craving for knowledge and the ambition for profound research were the characteristic of my father. May he rest in peace. My father took an... <laughs> My father took an important part in my academic development. Although he was very ill during, during those years. He always encouraged me. He managed to see me starting the... <laughs> okay. He managed to see me starting the orthodontic program, but sadly he is not here today. I'm sure he would have been very proud of me. We never finish learning. This is the beginning of our learning curve. The motivation for the ongoing learning is derived from my mother. Mother, I thank you for your support and strength. My dearest sister, brothers, mother in law, do you understand English? <laughs> Okay, I translate it. Brothers, mother-in-law, relatives, and of course my children, Neta, David, Tamar, and Merav, who have, who have always been there for me. Thank you. I could have never done it without you. One last thanks to the great supporting group of PG7. We have shared many days some were happy and some were difficult, yet all of them have been a great adventure. I wish you great success and joy. Thank you. The second award for outstanding academic achievement goes to Dr. Fortuny Tsingane. I will be short this time. <laughs> okay. I am very honored to be receiving this award. I would like to thank my parents for their support and encouragement. Without them, I couldn't have made it. Their love and faith to me made me feel stronger to continue pursuing my dream. I would also like to thank my instructors and my dear classmates for their guidance and inspiration to be the best I can. Thank you. Mr. Janusz Prokopiu, would you please step forward to present the diplomas to the graduates from Cyprus? Dr. Elena Iuanu.
Dr. Barilina Skiluriatu. Dr. Alexia Trifonidu. Mr. Ambassador of Greece, Mr. Kyriakos Lukakis, would you please step forward to present to the graduate from Greece. <laughs> Dr. Fortini Tsingane. Mr. Fernando Ferreira da Silva, a representative of the Portuguese Embassy, would you please step forward? And our graduate student from Portugal, Dr. Nuna Sousa Dias. And now for the graduates from Israel, Dr. Talia Sayer. Dr. Noah Sadan. <laughs> Mr. 
You still look wonderful. <laughs> Dr. Sandra Trevids Manusevic. Dr. Rachel Sarig. And with that terminates the first session this morning. We will now have a coffee break of approximately 30 minutes. Will all the graduates of today gather immediately in the upstairs patio for photographs and to play frisbees with their hats? <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. <laughs>